Hey YouTube, it's Crystal and today I am going to show you guys some items that I have that have been piling up, some after Christmas sale stuff, some Christmas stuff and that's pretty much it. So just a collective Christmas haul, I'll just say that. I know it's kind of late, it's the new year, happy new year everybody, but I know you guys like looking at some stuff that people pick up and you might change your mind and want to go out and get some stuff so i'm just going to jump right in and get started um sephora had a 20 percent off uh the sale items so first thing i picked up was the Too faced all i want for christmas a uh, little package you get some really good things in here you get an eyeshadow and blush compacts a perfect eyes eyeliner in perfect black um a lash injection mascara like a sample size a shadow insurance eyeshadow primer and an exclusive la creme color drenched lip cream and it's in the color believe so i'm gonna take this out. i'm trying not to make the video real long so if i like run through some things and you guys want to see some stuff like individually then just let me know okay but it comes in this cute little almost looks like a pencil case but it's um a regular bag and it has two face on it and it's the chevron print like a lot of their um holiday stuff came in and everything's wrapped up in some pink paper and the shadows are really pretty so this is your lash injection mascara and it's supposed to give you extreme volume to open it but i just want to see what the brush looks like okay this is what the brush looks like not too bad nice and skinny so a nice little sample size to use up then you get a shadow insurance i'm excited to try this because um a lot of people here on youtube use it so i'm interested to see how it holds up with eyeshadow and you get a mini well deluxe perfect eyes waterproof liner Oh, it's very black. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's very black, so that's interesting. I'm always looking for good pencil eyeliners. And then you have this cute little compact, which comes with your eyeshadows and your blush. Um, it doesn't have any names of colors on it. Oh, it's pretty. You get a nice size mirror. I don't know if you can see my camera. But these are the colors you get. They're very, very pretty. And they should be very... Oh, that's very pigmented. Oh. And swatch it oh that looks really good so you get a lot of color with these oh that one's not as good but that's a good brow bone highlight and then you got your um blush color which is pretty where can i put that oh these are very pretty colors and you can always use it as a a shadow but these and are then the lastly colors. your full size lip injection i mean sorry the creme drenched and this is what the color looks like as you can see it pretty like peachy peachy color oh and it's very like moisturizing that's what that looks like so that's very nice and it's in the color believe i think this is like an exclusive shade so i don't know if they're gonna come out with this like of this laura mercier and this is a new item and it's illuminating eye color in the shade gilded rose gold and it's very pretty so this was like new i don't know if they had this like in the regular section but it was in the sale part so this is what it looks like is that not pretty or what try to zoom in on it is that gorgeous let me zoom in but i'm gonna try to swatch it but look at that i don't know if you guys can see the color but it's like a very pretty it'll be very pretty on the eyes i'm gonna shine it towards the thing but the color is very pretty so that was from sephora sale that was online which is like kind of trying to make all this noise with this paper stick this back in the bag and also from sephora when i took i did not like the Caudalie. um beauty elixir i picked up the small bottle when it was the vib sale so i decided to take that back and try the grape grape water the Caudalie grape water and it's supposed to be very moisturizing extracted from grapes during the harvest the mist soothes refreshes and moisturizes the skin at any time of the day preservative free and fragrance free and it says no need to blot after spraying 
so I wanted to try this and plus you get a lot more product so I'm interested to try this anybody's interested in knowing how this is leave a comment below moving right along to some of the things that I know a lot of people are trying to get it's the Anastasia contour kit and I used this in my last tutorial um, to contour my face because I'm trying to learn how to do that so I used it and I really enjoy the powder and I also use the banana color which is probably similar to the banana powder but this is what it looks like you guys can see <sighs> sorry it's kind of thing but I use this color to contour it's the darkest color and I believe this color is Havana it's Havana Fawn uh, Java and then you have sand I believe sand uh, vanilla and banana I thought maybe this was banana so maybe they mixed the shades up on this little um thing because on the container it has the colors but I'm not sure if that's exactly how they're supposed to go because to me this looks like the banana color but on the paper it would say vanilla and this looks like um a highlight color I don't know if you guys want swatches or anything um, list it down below because I don't want the video to go too long but I really like the consistency of the powder and the one that I used to contour my face next I have the it's duty time palette that I picked up from BH cosmetics and I was so upset with BH cosmetics because I was online December 9th to pick this up when it first came out and I ordered and everything so it was like all before 11 o'clock and I didn't get the package until like December 23rd and they sent me a, a tracking number that never worked and I tried to call them and nobody would call me back. I emailed nobody called me back till like after the fact so I was kind of like disappointed and then half my some of my stuff in my order still didn't come when this came so I just like asked for my money back. But these are the shadows in the It's Judy Time palette and I used this also in my last tutorial and I really like it really like it it's somewhat powder well there's some fallout but i mean that's what you get a lot of the times with um these kind of palettes but the shades are very nice i'm gonna try to put some swatches on my blog if you guys haven't checked it out i've kind of been neglecting it but um it's been a lot of stuff going on so it kind of takes away with from what i want to do as far as my hobby or whatever which is the makeup um, moving on to another palette. This also came out last month and it's the Sigma Warm Neutrals palette. I haven't been able to do anything with this yet but I've been hearing a lot of good things about it and these are the colors. The colors are gorgeous. Oh, let me turn it this way so the camera, the mirror won't get you. But these are some very pretty colors and they're like very pigmented. See that's this color. I don't know if you guys can see it but they're very very pigmented you get some good color off of that but that's what that one little swatch gave me but there are some really great colors so if you guys want to check this out it's on Sigma Beauty's website and that's that I also and this is from the in light collection that they just came out with and also I picked up two eyeliners one is in black well eclipse is what they call it and the other is in nutmeg and these are actual pencil form. They're not like the last ones, which were the long wear eyeliners. But these actually look like a pencil. If I could get it out of the container. But this is what they look like. And I'm going to try to swatch it. Nutmeg has like some gold reflex in it. This is Nutmeg which is like a pretty brown color. I wish I could like zoom in on it without it getting blurry. And then also there's, oops, I got Butterfingers. And this is Eclipse, which is the black. It almost looked like the tip broke off. But that's really black. I probably just kind of sharpen it. Well, this is Eclipse down here. So that's a really pretty black. Um, I don't know how you guys would want to do with the nutmeg and the waterline because of the gold, the gold in it, but, um, I probably wouldn't recommend it but if you wanted to go like up under the lash line with it you probably could do that instead so moving right along I'm gonna stay on the pencil type thing this is a little set that I my mom picked up for me from Macy's from a lot a while ago but they're Laura Mercier's caviar sticks and you get four like mini sizes and I actually was like dang these are really small but when 
I went online to compare the actual size of the normal pencils that you get from like Sephora or Macy's or, or Nordstrom's. I'm not sure. Yeah, Nordstrom's has lower Mercier. You don't get that much more product and the stick is like longer. But I guess I can just take these out of here because I'm making a mess with it anyway. But you don't get that. It's not that much difference in the, the size of the product. But these are what the sticks look like. And the actual name of it is the Shimmer Effects Mini Caviar Stick Eye Color Collection. So you get pink opal, rose gold, amethyst, and sugar frost. So these are all colors that I've heard of that are highly talked about. So you get a decent amount. It might not be a lot, but I mean, at least you could get to use all of them. But this is the amount of product you get, if you guys can see that. I would pick a color. But this is the amount of product, and it's... Um... 0.03 ounces so it's one one gram and I think the regular ones are like 0.5 ounces so and you're paying $26 for one stick and you got the four of these for $40 so like $10 a stick so you make out and you get to try four different shades for $40 so that's a good thing moving right along what's next oh Mac 